OC STEAM Fest, a festival that encourages exploring, learning, and playing at the Orange County Great Park. All right, let's see, let's see. Whoa! 5,000 parents and kids turned out to check out the 50 interactive booths. Booths designed to engage kids in the areas of science, technology, engineering, art, and math. To really come out and enjoy um, and learn about some of the um, innovative STEAM technologies available and IPSF is core to their values in trying to enrich the experience of every student in the Irvine Unified School District. IPSF Irvine Public Schools Foundation raises money to fund programs in Irvine schools. This is one of the events that enables them to do so. And there's actually a lot of, uh, lot of booths, a um, lot of things for the kids to do. We've been here for about three or four hours, so Daddy's a little tired, but the kids are still <laughs> running around. We found John Vukmanovic's son, Michael, in the virtual reality area. It looked like I just had a hand, but no arm. It's like an invisible hand floating in the air. I was supposed to repair a broken car using a whole different bunch of parts that were on a wall in front of me. And I could choose the color of the car. It was just a really fun experience. Virtual reality can immerse someone into a whole new reality, a whole new experience. And then from there, be able to like do activities or things that they wouldn't be able to do in, in, in a real life situation. So instead of uh, maybe learning about how to work on an engine or uh, build an airplane, they can do that in virtual reality and get the brain going and really hit all three kind of learning uh, styles in, in one kind of medium. From high tech to low tech, wood cars gathered quite the crowd. Oh, hey, it's a tough car to beat, friend. Don't feel bad. My favorite thing that I've done so far is making this car and racing. I think it's really cool because it's your own creation. Nobody is helping you. You just created by yourself. So the slime one was fun because, well, you get to make slime and then later you get to go home and play with it. And like the whole process that how like all these things go together and then they make this like gooey thing is really interesting and then the coloring one it makes a really cool pattern when you're done because you don't expect it to have those lines stretching out to the outside so it's really cool because you just get to like squirt the color but then gets a beautiful art. Ten-year-old Peyton enjoys learning about science in school. I think robots, they can help people with disabilities. They have problems walking, talking, seeing. It's important because in the future we could learn more about it and then we could help more people with technology. Two, one, go! One of the goals of this event is that many leave with the same impression as eight-year-old Natalia. I think that learning about all those things that I didn't know about was actually really exciting and new for me because I've never seen anything like this before. $113,000 was raised at this event and these funds will go directly to benefit the Irvine Unified School District. For Irvine Scene, I'm Jacqueline Twagg.